What is up guys? We are back for episode number 18? 18, 18. It should be 18. Yeah, episode number 18. And dude, we're just starting off right where we left off on last video. And then we're also switching out to uh, trailers for the semis that because Sam got the trailer that holds 80,000 liters instead of like 51,000 liters. So, what we're doing is we got three people we got Nathan, definitely go check out his channel, Tired Bowl Gaming, and then we got Sam, definitely go check out his channel, Hi Bro 27. Just post another video, too, correct? Yeah, oh yeah, baby. It was a third, it was a plane that's been sitting for 30 years, right? Or hasn't yeah, been flying yeah, yeah. for 30 years, I should say. Yeah, it's been sitting since. The mid 80s. Holy crap, dude. And you just took it off. I bet that would be scary just flying it after it's been sitting so long, but you guys probably got it fixed yeah. up pretty good. Yeah. Okay, sweet. I'm rolling down with the 7R in the Kinsey 1100 liter uh, grain cart. And then we also got the 9RX down there. And we have two semis full. Like, we are finishing that field. We're going to start on the next field, combine it, and then maybe we'll leave a little for silage so we can start chopping it, too. So I'm kind of thinking that for the cows. But right now we're just like racking up a tons of money. The two semis over here are full. The combines are completely full. Dude, We I guess me and somebody else has to go uh, truck this stuff down there too. To the Mississippi grain place. And so there's a lot to do. We got. Do we really need two grain carts? I think, honestly, I think that it's tough for the 9RX to keep up. To be honest. These combines are just going ham. Um, and so I'll just put this in the field right now. And then Nathan... Or Nathan or Sam, can one of you guys follow me down to the Mississippi Grain Place? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you got it. Okay, sweet. Just follow me down, and then Sam, you're just gonna keep that running. Sweet, I got. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're starter up, dude. We're in the Peterbilt now. I really, really want to get another Peterbilt like this because it, it is insanely good. Like first person, the interior, everything looks good. The Mac is pretty cool, but uh. Some some guy told me he really wanted me to keep the Mac, and I, I kind of promised him I would keep the Mac. So I think I th I guess we'll keep the Mac. Okay, we're gonna take a right. Yeah yeah yeah. We're gonna take a right right here. Okay, so we oh we're almost gonna put her in the ditch. This is like not really a road. It's kind of like a road just to get equipment back and forth. But we'll take her. We'll take her. We should be good. And then once we get down there, we're gonna sell these trailers and pick up some new Dakota trailers that hold. 30,000 more liters of grain so that way we don't have to truck as often it should work out good and then we got some milo yet in storage we could sell we just got to get this stuff trucked down there basically we're just flying down there you, you able to keep up nathan oh yeah yeah i'm keeping up pretty good there you go okay sweet and we're in the mac okay and we'll keep going down the road we are flying dude 51 mile an hour i guess we're maxed out 51 mile an hour and we gotta go to mississippi grain down there price is 1400 dollars per liter and Sam you're rolling back there with the combines right yeah okay sweet see if I had the follow me mod there's no way I could go this fast because the guy like behind me and I like to swerve and look back the guy behind me will usually just go flying and swerving <coughs> all over the place and there we go uh, hey we almost need like three semis I feel like but I guess once we get these new trailers we should be able to hold a lot more that'll work out pretty good how much money are we gonna get hopefully we get over a hundred oh yeah we'll get over a hundred thousand dollars we'll probably get two hundred thousand dollars about I'm guessing we'll see though and we're just flying down here this Peterbilt man I love this thing it's kind of quiet though to be honest with you but uh, we'll keep going down here and I was thinking about getting you you know guys I was thinking about getting those uh, gravity wagons out and just using those too but then we'd have to have three drivers, I guess. <coughs> oh boy. I always go the. Nathan, am I going the wrong way, man? I think I'm going the. Uh, I don't know. Oh boy, are we going. Okay, actually, no, we're good. We're good. Never mind. There we go. Peterbilt's having a hard time pulling her up a hill and stuff, too. Yeah. Oh boy. And then, okay, Pioneer Grain is right over there. Mississippi Grain is right here somewhere. Is it right here? Is this it? No, that's not it. Sorry, I'm probably stopping kind of fast. You're probably like running into me. Is it back here or is it. Might be across the road. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Across the road would make sense. There we go. I'll let Nathan lead the way. Just keep going down there. Oh, and guys, if you guys are enjoying the series, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want something different, let me know in the comment section. I always listen to the comments, or I always look at the comments, I should say. Okay, we're pulling in here. This better be it. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
We should be good. And then it, lo it looks like it's just going to get loaded up onto the barge. Sweet. Are you able to unload? Oh, yeah. He's unloading yep. there. I wonder if we can both un Nah, we can't both unload at the same time. There we go. He's just dropping it in there. Sweet. Oh, and then the grain runs to the middle. Oh, really? Okay, so go drops down there, runs through the middle. It looks like it runs down here, and then runs up the conveyor belt. It runs up the conveyor belt, gets stored in here. Where does it get shipped out onto the... Okay, and it... Okay, yeah. It runs up there, and then it drops in here and drops in the barge over here. Dude, that is sweet. The Mississippi. The old Mississippi. Transporting some grain. Oh, dude, we got to walk under the bar. Oh, we can't walk under the barge. Okay, hey, we got $46,000 so far from that. But it's still, keep, it's still going up. So we were about at like $50,000 before this. And so one semi got us about... We'll see. I meant 2%. Okay, 2%. One semi got us about... Ooh, $70,000. That's not bad. $70,000. But this semi is going to do a lot worse... Just because the price of grain is went down because we just uh, delivered it here. So, or the price of corn, I should say. There we go. We're unloading. And so I want to check what the price is now. So corn. Oh, yeah, dude. It was Now it's 1,100 per, per 1,000 liters. Okay, it was 1,400. Oh, boy. We're not going to get anything near as close to what we were getting. Okay, whatever. It'll be fine. We're at 60% already. Sweet. We're unloading. And then we got to sell these two Wilsons and buy. Here, I'll, I might as well just buy them right now while we're doing it. We'll go to Tippers and buy these two 48 foot ones. Okay. We'll buy and buy. And then once we get there, we'll sell these two Wilsons. Okay. Shoot. I'm not sure how much money we went, made out of this because I just sold all those, but, uh, it's probably around 60,000, 60, I'm guessing. Helper H has a full grain tank. You probably don't have anything to load it into, I guess, do you? Nah, I got it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa. Nathan, how'd you turn around, dude? You back you at him? You have to swing wide and then go by the, between the barge and the okay. deal okay. on the other side. Oh, this is going to be tight. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be good. There we go. As long as you don't hit this wall, this cement wall. There we go. We're good. Sweet. Ooh, it's pretty tight through here. I can't believe they get semis yeah. through here and stuff. And then we gotta go pick up those 48 foot. Dude, this will be a lot better now that we don't have to. We won't be trucking as much. Should work out good. And I'll follow you on down there. Oh, we gotta navigate our way through town. Make sure you stop by that stoplight. It'll get you. It'll find you to our box. Actually, yeah. you know what? It won't because I don't have that on. I don't have that on because in multiplayer, if I keep the stoplight mod on, it makes like my whole screen black. It's we it's really weird. I wish I had it on because it'd be cool to get fined. I'm actually uh, I was actually kind of excited to get fined, but Nathan, man, you're booking it over there. Oh boy, what'd you hit? You hit the railroad track? The railroad tracks. I got gotcha. you. I was gonna say that semi get is it all semis or is it just that semi that gets caught on the railroad track? I think it's just this semi. Okay, there we go. We'll drop ours off. Sell these, and. Boom, dropped them off, sold them. And don't we get more if we, oh, okay, whatever. I'll just. Yeah, you should. They're not in, they're, I guess they're not like in the range of, uh -oh. I gotta, we gotta move them a little closer, but I'll, I'll move them, you're good. Just stay there and hook up. Over there. There we go, sell. Sweet, and I gotta get my semi back up to this one and see if we can't sell this dude quick. Sweet, and all it, there we go. And, oh, return, oh, we leased it, that's right, okay. And there you get connected to my 48 foot, and then we'll hit the road again back over there. Sam, you need some semis to load into, or are you still rolling? Uh, it should be good. Okay. Yeah, it just disconnected though, I'll be right back. Okay. And, we're connected, sweet. Time to hit the road, head back. Okay, I'm here, I'm pulling in, and then, okay, sweet. Sam's unloading right there. Oh, dude, one thing about this, you gotta swing insanely wide. It's 48 foot, dude. Oh, okay, I guess this is a pretty big uh, lane right here, but I'll swing around here, and I'll pull up right next to Nathan so it looks pretty sweet. Them side by side, too. And come on, just make the turn. There we go. Feels pretty dry, so we can just put the semis in here without getting stuck. Oh boy, I almost hit Nathan. 
and we'll back up, square up to him real nice. And now this time, they can hold a lot more grain. Nathan, are you running the 6R right now? Uh, yeah. Okay, sweet. Dude, we're, we're about done with this, actually. Okay, sweet. There we go, Sam's run that. And then I was considering getting ri the Ripper or the Cultivator. I don't know if I can hire out on the rip. Can we hire out on the Ripper? The 2720, I think it is? Should be able to. Okay. Okay, I'll... I'll buy it, or yeah, I'll just buy it. It's fine. We'll we'll, we'll test the waters a little bit with it, because I think I mean I'm not I probably shouldn't just plant again. I, we should probably plow it up a little bit. So yeah. Okay, we'll buy the twenty seven twenty. Oh, dude, this was a lot of money actually. And then you know what? Since the case isn't being used, I'll go grab the case and we're gonna start. Well, I'm not doing anything. We're gonna start ripping this field up. The old case H Magnum. We're getting her out again. Sweet. Should have enough power, right, guys? I guess we could throw the... It'd be pretty sweet to could throw the quad track on her, too, but... Magnum will mm -hmm. work good. There we go. Go the case. 380. Yeah, well, it, it'll easily have enough horsepower. And we'll go pick up the 2720. So what I did... Oh, wait, no. I didn't do that, but... Uh, instead of driving all the way down there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reset it, I'm thinking. Uh, wherever this dude is. Uh, oh, dude, we got a lot of equipment. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. We'll reset this guy, and then we'll go pick him up. And then, by the end of this video, I kind of want to just put the quad track on there just to see how it looks and just kind of test it out on there, too. It'd be sweet, too. But what's nice about this Magnum is it rolls. It goes 32 mile an hour. That's sweet. Okay. And and then, okay, so do you guys... So how much of the next field... field it's going to be field 30, right? Yeah, field... No, field 23. How much of it do you guys want to do? Or we could or we could just do it all in silage, or we could start combining a little bit. It's up to you guys, I guess. Uh, is the whole thing planted? Yeah, yeah. And Sam, gotcha. do you, okay, Sam, do you remember when we planted field 22 soybeans? It was... Yeah. Okay, what happened is I let the worker go hired out on field 23 on the far end, and he kept going. Oh, I see that. Yeah, and he <laughs> got into field 22. He cut into field 22, so half of it's corn on field 22 now. <laughs> but, oh, dude, I need to get th I need to get three of these uh, discs or rippers or whatever you want to call them, and we all need to three go ham on the field. Oh, that'd be sweet too. Um, coming on over to you guys' field, and then we should be good. And hey, we got some. I guess I probably shouldn't tell you guys about it, but hey, I will since we're in the moment. So we got a. Chevy 2017 Chevy 3500 HD. We're gonna sell the high country we have now and get that. It's a high. I think it's a. High, is it a high country version, Sam? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's a high country version two. It's a dually, and we're gonna get that for the farm. Trade the Duramax we have, the 2500 we have now. Get the 3500. It's pretty sweet. Sam's working on just fit, touching up a couple of lights on it, and then we're gonna release it to you guys also. It's 2017. It's the LP5. L5P. L5P version. So, should be pretty good. And then, are you guys feeling? Is you guys have one of the semis full already? Uh, the one probably close. 85. Yeah. Oh, jeez, we're gonna get a lot of money. We gotta figure out where we gotta go, where we wanna go, um, truck this stuff to, because now the price of the Mississippi grain is extremely low. It's probably lower than a lot of the other ones. So I gotta check out the price on those. Holy crap! Seven R is rolling. He's whipping around there. Oh, jeez. There we go. And then we're going to get ripping this field up. Might as well just get it all done at once. All starting full in there as we're rolling into the field. Start down here, dude. Hopefully. Okay, we can hire a worker. Yeah. We can hire a worker. Sweet. We'll lower the plow. And. There we go. We're down all the way. Sweet. We're plowing. And then what we'll do. Oh, sweet. Thank God it hires out a worker. Okay, I like it. I like it. There we go. We're plowing her up the Magnum. There's a girl in there, too. But uh, there there we go. She's rolling. Oh, we better get out of her way. Sweet. She's rolling on down there. I like it. Case and John Deere ro ro working together. 2720, right? 2720. Yeah. The other version I had, for some reason, it could have been the tractor or the plow, but it wouldn't plow up the field. Like, it, you couldn't hire out a worker. It kind of sucked. But uh, Really? Yeah. There we go, dude. We're getting everything. We're getting work done today on this field. I like it. Okay, there's uh, Nathan rolling. Dude, sweet. 
Okay, how does the seven R handle it fine? The Kinsey. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And then we got one of these full. I guess I could probably go trucker. Or would you would you mind if you went and trucked it, Nathan? If I could hop. Yeah, in. I can truck okay. it. Okay. Sweet. Or actually, is it is it going to be full all the way? Uh, um. 95%. 95%. I, I can top it off okay. real quick. Okay, Sam's going to be back to top mm. it off. What um, what combine right now needs uh, emptied? Any? I just emptied the case. Okay. Did you empty the not John sure Deere recently, uh, Nathan? I have yeah. not. Okay. I'll go get the John Deere quick. Dude, I like it. Dude, we're so efficient with this. It's, it's kind of tough to keep up with the combines. And then after this, we're just going to let them roll into the next field. Oh, boy. Dude. Okay, and we'll just keep going with this. And come on, dude, put her out. Sweet. He's okay. Yeah, yeah. Nathan just emptied him, but we'll unload him anyways. There we go. We'll lock him in at six mile an hour. Boom. We're rolling. Sweet. Six ninety. I rolling down there, and case is down there. We're gonna finish this field like any second. Actually, probably like five minutes. We'll be done with this field. And then, I'm th guys, I'm thinking about, okay, let me know if you guys want to do this. If you're still watching the video, I guess. Should we trade, should we trade the Case and the John Deere and both get the Lexon class? Is it Class Lexon? I, I pronounce it so wrong. Le class Lexion. Lexion. Class Lexion combines with tracks. I think that would be pretty sweet if we got two of those, trade the John Deere and Case. I know. I know we'd be getting rid of, rid of a lot of case equipment. We do have the Magnum still, but uh, I think it'd be pretty sweet to mix it up eventually. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple of videos from now. And then we got to get the cows and silage yet, too. Dude, we got a lot to do. Oh, my gosh. And. Sweet. Okay, Sam, you're. Okay, you, Sam, you've been just catching the case, right? And. Yep. Okay, and then, Nathan, you've been just getting the John Deere, right? Yep. Okay, sweet. And then we'll wait for him to come down again. And then, is that second semi? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, the Magnum's doing the wrong thing. Okay, okay. No, no, no. There we go. Sweet. Okay. I guess we do have some over here to do on this field. So we got, I, yeah, we still have some to finish up over here, but. Could silence that part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. Good thinking. We'll just leave that to silage. Since we got a, since we really can't, it's tough to hire out a worker in silage anyway, so yeah. That'll work good. We'll get him squared away. Hopefully, she, I guess I should say. Turns around the right way. And we're rolling. I might buy two of these uh, 2720 disc rippers and put one on the quad track, too, eventually. Especially if we got to do all of these fields. There we go. We're ripping. And what I'll do is I'll get in. What was I going to get in? 7R. That's right. And we'll take a ride in the John Deere. I guess I haven't been in the John Deere. We might as well take a ride in it. We'll ride along in it. And okay, we still got a little bit to go, but we're gonna be done with this any second. And then we'll probably we'll probably just move on to the next field. <laughs> we're getting the 680. Check it out, dude. There we go. Oh, the John Deere screen's loading. Okay, sweet. The yield. I guess you can call it the yield monitor, right, Nathan? Yeah. Yield monitor. Okay, sweet. It's kind of dirty. She's a little dirty. Not gonna lie. And then Sam's unloading down there. Sweet. I think we're. I think I could. We're off a little bit on this edge. See how we're not even using this whole edge over here. I think I could probably reset it, but it's working good right now. I'm just gonna let it go. It'll be. It should be fine. We got the disc ripper going down there. How fast is the case going? It's going nine mile an hour. Nine mile an hour is pretty good. Ten, I guess now too. Sweet, that should be good. And do do we have to cultivate this after, or could we go straight planting? We can go straight planting. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. We don't have to come back and cultivate. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work good then. If we can go plant behind it, actually, I could probably get. We we won't plant right now, but I probably could if I really wanted to. Get a planter going too. Um. Maybe I should get the forty uh forty eight forty out and get another disc ripper going. I don't know. Once we clear this, maybe I could do that. We'll have all yeah. the tractors going, and then we gotta do the silage, dude. We'll do silage, like, oh, dude, we got it. Silage is gonna be coming soon, okay. And you guys think it's possible if we really push our efficiency and start on the next field, okay, with it, get the two combines going, 
and also do silage at the same time while the two combines going while we're ripping everything like you guys think that's possible do we have enough people one way to find out i guess <laughs> <laughs> true 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 dude we <laughs> i guess yeah we could we could do it we got the 4760 we might have to stop the mat we might have to use the magnum for some type of <laughs> dude that would be sweet have three people look how much equipment we have around right now i really want to push our limits and see see if we could do it oh okay maybe guys maybe episode number 18 right yeah episode number 18 we could we could do that we're fishing up with the john d right now let me hop in there see how much 67 percent. so once it makes a turn right here i'll unload and then we're just about finished there's sam hey sam how do you Yo. like that quad track man it's awesome, that's all I can say. I was going to say, yeah. Okay, do you like when it... The only thing I got to say, this is with all, like, tractors that pivot. I don't really like how you pivot. Like, especially if you're doing first person, it gets kind of, like, dizzy, I guess, the pivot. Mm -hmm. But maybe you're used to that. You probably don't mind it, really. Yeah, it's it's whatever. Hmm. And John Deere's turn right now. We're going to unload as soon as it gets rolling through here. All right, come on, dude. Start unloading. Nathan, did you go sell the grain? Uh, not yet. I got stuck, stuck on the railroad track. <laughs> oh, how long have you been stuck? Uh, not very long. Okay, I was going to say. Oh, I got to go catch that John Deere. That's right. And we'll get in the Kinsey. Catch this John Deere. Unload it into the Peterbilt. Wait, actually, before you sell it, let me check something. You got to... Here, I'll tell you where you, you... It'll probably be a building down there, but I want to make sure we sell it at the highest price. Oh, dude. Go to... uh, Yeah, go to Pioneer Grain. It's like right next to Mississippi uh, Grain. Yeah, I see it. Okay, sweet. Oh, boy. We got to catch this gombon. We should be able to. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah, well, it's only at 80%. We'll be good. And... Sweet. Okay, we got cruise control set on. We're unloading in here, and then I'll go unloading in the Peterbilt. And we should be good. Dude, we... May, okay, you know what? Maybe we could get... Oh, dude, it'd be sweet to get three combines. <laughs> I, I just want to get so much equipment, man. It'd be sweet to get three Keep combines. pushing it. Dude, get three combines going in the field, and then cut silage at the same time. Okay, that'd be that'd be intense. We'd maybe need four person, four people. But uh, maybe we can get Grill Man on here and then do my idea of cutting silage, combine at the same time, doing everything. But There we go. We're rolling. The 7R handles pretty good. Han handles this Kinsey pretty good. It would be tough on it, especially if we had the 1500 liter version of the Kinsey. But 7R is doing good with this. What I'll do is we should be full, and I'll go unload into the Peterbilt down there, throw the pipe out as we get ready. And it looks like I got to go, got to go on the right side of the Peterbilt. Dude, I love how the 7R just goes 32 mile an hour. It just flies through the fields. And then the, I guess the 9RX goes, what, 26, 27? Um, yeah, 26. Hmm. There we go. Sweet. We're alone to the Peterbilt. This is going to be the end of episode number 17 of Iowa Farming. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go into the like button. I'll see you guys later, and don't forget to check out Hot Bro 27 and Tired Ball Gaming. Thanks for watching, guys.